Sony is facing yet more pressure regarding its refusal to allow cross-platform play on the PlayStation 4, this time from Bethesda, who may very well be drawing a line in the sand when it comes to the Elder Scrolls Legends, that card game thing what they made. Sony of course has come under fire many times before for its stance on cross-platform play, not letting PS4 users play games online with Xbox One users, Switch users, etc. To date its biggest controversy was Fortnite, where one's entire Epic Games account gets locked to the PlayStation 4 if they make the fatal mistake of linking said account to the PlayStation 4 version of Fortnite. Sony's stance is arrogant, it's archaic, it's not what customers want, and apparently it's not what Bethesda wants either. Bethesda marketing mouth and Jim Sterling apology expector Pete Hines explained to Game Informer that the way the game works right now on Apple, Google, Steam and Bethesda.net, it doesn't matter where you buy your stuff, if you play it on another platform, that stuff is there. It doesn't matter what platform you play on, you play against everyone else who is playing at the moment. Which is how it should be, especially if you're playing a multi-platform game with purchases tied to an individual account. It's the 21st century and it's the age of separation between accounts and devices. People expect to enjoy their accounts on multiple devices. And Sony's pig-headed jealousy is only going to look more and more prehistoric as time goes on. Heinz goes on to suggest that the Elder Scrolls Legends may not make it to the PlayStation 4, saying, It is our intention, in order for the game to come out, it has to be those things on any system. We cannot have a game that works one way across everywhere else except for on this one thing, which again, is a very fair fucking statement. He added that since this is a strategy card game, worries about frame rate issues or graphical upgrades don't matter. Sony has nothing over any other version of the game. He added that cross-platform play is what we are doing, what we need, and what we intend. Now, he didn't straight up say we are not bringing this game to the PS4 unless you open it up to cross-platform play. A definitive ultimatum hasn't been issued as of yet. But Bethesda, more than any other publisher, seems especially concerned with cross-platform play and Sony's refusal to allow it. However, even if they do hold the Elder Scrolls Legends to ransom unless Sony caves, it's the Elder Scrolls Legends. It's not the most valuable bargaining chip in the world. And that's an issue with any publisher that wants to threaten Sony on this, because no publisher would be silly enough to use a major AAA release like, say, Fallout 76 as the potential sacrifice. It's easier and safer to offer up a card game spin-off that you released a year before. But because it's a card game spin-off that released a year before, it's not really much of a threat. Sony has something to lose with Fallout 76, it doesn't have anything much to lose with Elder Scrolls Legends. Conversely, Bethesda has a lot to lose by offering up Fallout 76. I'm not saying they should, it's not a wise idea at all from a business perspective, even though it's the best shot Bethesda has if it wants cross-platform play. However, what Bethesda's done here is still quite clever and good, because even if it's just posturing, it keeps the conversation going about cross-platform play. A lot of people have gotten bored of this because people get aggressively apathetic about ongoing stories, and I've already seen plenty of pushback now against people mad over Fortnite, quite rightly mad over Fortnite accounts, now going, old news, dead horse, who cares? It's not old news, it's still going on, you fucking chodes, but Bethesda is reigniting the conversation by making it about a different game, which is good. And while The Elder Scrolls Legends is not a great bargaining chip, it still keeps us reminded that Sony's doing a shit thing and that Sony should stop doing the shit thing. This is what we call the long game. And there are many Bethesda moves I take umbrage with, but this, this is smart. It's relatively risk-free, but it makes Bethesda look good and it makes Sony look shit. And I can't fault them for that. With Microsoft and Nintendo opening up their consoles and suffering absolutely nothing for doing so, there's no excuse for Sony. There is absolutely no justifiable reason why the PlayStation platform cannot open itself up 
to cross-platform play. Sony will only look more and more obstructive as more and more games take advantage of cross-platform. And this situation, along with Sony's continued fucking about with game mods, only continues to make the PS4 look like the platform of the lesser, the place where games go to not be as good as they are everywhere else. As it is, I would always advise anybody to not tie their Epic Games account to the PlayStation 4. Just don't play Fortnite there. You never know when you'll want to or need to move your game over to another platform, only to find out you've got to start again from scratch, as many people found out when they wanted to give the Switch version of Fortnite a go, but were unlucky enough to tie their Epic Games account to the PS4 instead, and got fucked, just got straight fucked over. Sony, sort it out. Eventually, Sony's gonna have to answer this. They're gonna have to sort it out. At this point, they're just delaying the inevitable, and it looks, well, Stupid.